the Joule Telescope Rig. I should probably make something. This is the prototype of the guide scope bracket that I've 3D printed. It's not quite right yet. You can see it moves slightly, but that's okay. It's just not finished. This slot here needs to be longer. So I need to move that entirely. And likewise on this side, it needs to be moved up so that these brackets here can properly clamp onto this dovetail here. I also need to 3D print a little offset to go in there because I can't quite tighten this. It's just fouling the surface there. So you can see there's a little offset there that needs to be printed. So I'll just print another one to lift that up so I can control this knob properly. But this idea is to put the guide scope in the middle and you then can shoot. Obviously there's a cable in the way there, but you can shoot between the two cameras. I've also purchased 
a third counterweight. I still need to use the bar extension even with this additional counterweight here. But now the telescope actually balances with the cameras pointing upwards, which is great because I can't have them pointing downwards because it fouls all of these mounts here. I also needed to level out the two scopes. So I've added another Los Mandy plate here so that the whole thing's moved up slightly and that's just bolted on there. You can just see it's been bolted on. So effectively that's all the same as before, but it just pushes everything up. And then this will be my guide scope solution, which I think is going to be quite neat when I've 3D printed it properly. So it's looking quite cool. So there we go. That is the dual scope rig so far and it's still cloudy. I don't remember actually when I last saw some stars. Anyway, uh, yes, there we go. The dual telescope rig. There we go. This is my 3D printed bracket. Uh, does need a little bit more work. It's a little bit flexible at the moment, so I'm probably going to make a plate to go over the top here. And then that spacer that I've printed there will be just moving this dovetail up. So that's metal. Obviously these are eBay specials for the clamps. They're very good though, really good. Um, I think they're about 20 quid, they're about, but they're nice. So that will hold my guide scope in between these two other scopes and all being well, it should work out as a solution for mounting the guide scope. We are that close now to being able to get the dual telescope rig imaging, which will be amazing, I hope. It's been such a long journey, this one. It's taking ages, partly because of just getting hold of the bits and also trying to source all this so it doesn't um, break the bank completely. Uh, but uh, I think this should be quite a good solution. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time because you're watching. Uh, thank you, and I appreciate it. Uh, if you would be kind enough to subscribe, I would be incredibly grateful because it helps me a bit. Uh, yes, so thank you everyone. Take care, and um, hopefully very soon we'll get this dual scope imaging on something.